Hello friends, Kishan is here again and welcome in this video tutorial. In previous video tutorial, we had discussed about the uh, period uh, API which belongs to the java.time package. Now in this video tutorial, we are going to discuss about the duration. So similar to period, the duration class uh, is used to deal with time. So basically you can see on the screen, in, for, uh, you can see the, uh, I mean, code snippet here I have created the instance of local time by using the factory method is called off here I am passing the number of hours minute and second so basically this is 630 am and this I have assumed as initial time and final time I am calculating just in initial time just I am adding duration of 30 seconds so this is my final time the duration between two instants can be obtained either the duration or as a, a specific unit in the first code snippet i'm talking about this code snippet in the first code snippet we use the bitmin method of duration class uh, to find the time difference between the final time and initial time and returns the difference in seconds so here we have a duration class and duration class as a method is called bitmin and just we are passing the final time and initial time and we want the time difference in seconds or even you can get the in nanoseconds as well so here we are just telling this api give me the time in seconds get seconds so this will return time difference between these two time in seconds itself in the second example we use between method of chrono unit class to perform the same operation so we have a chrono unit and we want the time difference uh, in seconds so that's why we have called this innovation and we have a bitmin method so just we are passing final and initial time and this will return us the almost same result so these are the two ways to get the time difference between uh, seconds taken in seconds so here let's go to the eclipse and here uh, in previous video tutorial we have seen this example uh, and this is related to the period so now at this time we are going to look into uh, how to work with the uh, uh, duration so let's uh, so I'm going to calculate what I have shown in the slides local time and I would say, say initial this would be my initial time time and then I'm gonna use off method which accepts three parameters so a uh, number of hours I'm going to specify six number of seconds number of minutes I'm going to specify 30 and number of seconds zero so basically this 630 a.m. sorry so this is basically 630 a.m. this is called initial time now I'm going to calculate final time from this initial time itself so final time I'm going to plus plus I would say duration duration and of you can have off days uh, of hour of millis so I'm going to off seconds so 30 seconds I'm going to add in this initial time so this would be my final time I would say final time now we want to get the difference between these two times in seconds so here we can make use of the duration so we have a duration and duration as a method is called bitmin Bitmin and this is asking me to supply the uh, Bitmin this is asking me to supply the I mean final time and initial time right so I would say uh, start exclusive and inclusive so initial time and sorry 
initial time so basically this is a final time i think this is final time and this would be the initial time and we want the difference in seconds so we will have to say get so see get you can get time in units seconds nanoseconds so basically we used to calculate i mean time difference between nanoseconds either in nanoseconds or uh, seconds so i'm going to select seconds and this will return us into second so if i try to print it seconds now if i check the difference between these two time so saying that 30 minus 30 seconds so i think parameter we need to exchange so we'll have to give initial time over here and then final time then we'll get time difference in positive right so just subtracting from this time to this time so that's why now we are getting time difference in 30 and same functionality we can achieve through chrono unit so chrono unit and we want the time difference in seconds so we will have to say seconds and again we will have to call uh, between method in this between and here we are going to pass this time initial time and final time and basically this is the second way to achieve the same functionality what we achieved here using duration class so if I print value for this between two then I got the same result so that's all about uh, duration class so basically if you want to get the time difference between uh, if you want to get the difference of two times in seconds or nanoseconds so basically uh, for that purpose we use duration class so i hope you enjoyed learning this this is pretty straightforward so i don't think so if you would have found any difficulties to learn these things so in next video tutorial we are going to uh, explore some more apis in uh, java date time so please be with me over there and thanks for watching this video